know, that's one of the things, you know, people say that and it's so hard to really, you know, it, I don't think it really, I really understood until actually much later. Um, because when you're inside of the bubble or you're inside of the, the show or the project, you don't necessarily get how it's resonating to people watching. And I can say that, you know, I've been, you know, all over the country and many places, many parts of the world where people will recognize me from the show. And I'm just like, I'm in India. And people are like, smash, you know, and I'm just like, you know, mind blown because, you know, you just, you just don't realize that, that what you're doing um, is affect. I mean, I've been in New York. I remember I was going to play in New York and somebody stopped me on the subway, like, you know, like what you're doing and what you guys are, you know, it's just, it's really, you know, just so great. And I'm so moved and, you know, I just, you know, you just, when you're in the trenches, or you're in the sort of, you know, the workspace or the, the environment or the place where you're actually doing it, you don't necessarily get how the ripple effects of what you're doing are resonating. But um, yeah, I think it, it took me a little while to see that, but, you know, I'm just honored and grateful that it has done that. I tell you, for me, I, when being the mother, um, when I was cast, I thought, oh, they'll show, you know, some, some scenes of him at home or whatever, and I'll be at the football games cheering him on. And when we received the script to homegoing, homecoming, when we went back to our old home, I'll never forget. When I read that script and that whole episode was basically about our family, I wept. I lost it because I was like, here's an opportunity for them to really dig deeper into our family. It wasn't for screen time. It was about the Williams family and, mm -hmm. and, and what made them unique, what bonded them together. Uh, that part, it dawned on me while shooting that that was the thing. Afterwards, I remember um, the show that I was um, uh, going to New York to, before it went to Broadway, I was going up just to do a reading or whatever, walking down the street, minding my own business, a Broadway seasoned Broadway performer sided up again to, to next to me. He said, I love you on that show. And it, it never, I mean, uh, the chills would go over me and I, I stopped in the middle of New York. I'm like, what? Right. It has happened right. to me numerous times on the subway Mm -hmm. be minding my own business or people would come up adamant what church do you go to and they would be bothering them i know yeah. i know you from church and, and then it would dawn on them i'd, yeah. I'd say friday night lights yeah. that's why i know you from i saw the scenes in the church mm -hmm. they would remember us yeah. from being in church mm -hmm. um and it it still never ceases to amaze me but when i realized that um they were writing uh episode for our family, about right. our family. Right. It hit me like a ton of bricks and yeah. I never ceased to get chills when people recognize me as Mama Smash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 